everyone and welcome back to by holly g welcome to today's video so as you can tell from the title i am basically going to be sharing five reasons why you should study biology at school and i am specifically talking about a level but it can be any equivalent and this can also apply to students looking to go on to study biology or any type of biological science degree at university obviously yes i did study biology and i'm so glad i did i went on to do it at university and you know the rest is history but i just hope this video helps some of you guys out in a situation where you don't know what to take for your a-level subjects or your subjects in your last two years of school i may be biased but to be honest with you i really think the biology is a cool subject and you will really enjoy it so yeah definitely give this video a thumbs up as usual if you enjoy it comment down below if you have any specific questions and yeah subscribe if you're new to biology and you want to stick around and watch more videos so starting with the first reason i basically would encourage anyone to study biology just because the subject is so diverse biology is a single subject yes but there are so many disciplines within biology and you will come to appreciate that diversity even when you're still studying it at school you'll do like lots of cellular biology stuff you'll learn all about the cell what it does how it functions so you'll start on a really small scale and you'll do lots of like human biology stuff you'll study immunology you'll look at different organ systems within the body like the respiratory system the circulatory system and on the other end of the spectrum you'll do stuff about like plants and ecology and you know like environmental science obviously it depends on the specification you take Take, but lots of them do cover very similar topics and in that respect you'll never get bored studying biology because there's always something new you can explore the thing with biology and science in general is that yes it is also very dynamic and we're constantly learning new stuff and that even trickles down to the school system so you will be learning about very current stuff i'm pretty sure there's stuff like crispr in a level biology specifications now which is how we like modify genomes in really clever and cool ways so you'll be learning about like you know research that is being done right now like why would you not do the subject you know if you get to learn about stuff that is so so current the other aspect of diversity that i just wanted to talk about was that you will obviously yes be learning from like textbooks and you'll be doing very theoretical stuff but you do get hands-on practical experience you will be doing like practicals i remember at school we did quite a lot of stuff with like potatoes and you looked at osmosis and you did stuff to do with enzymes and you'd be outside chucking quadrats around leading on from that first point then my second reason why you should study biology is because it is so relatable you know everything that you are learning about in the classroom you will be able to apply in different aspects of your life for example if you are studying like immunology and pathology you're looking at how the immune system works you'll probably learn a bit about viruses what they are and what they do and obviously you know like we're in a global pandemic you'll get to learn about how your body fights off disease and infection and to me that has just been one of the most incredible things about biology i see biology everywhere now that i've studied it for such a long time and see i think that's another reason why for me personally i've been able to learn things quite easily because i can always as i said find things to relate it to in my everyday life and in that respect i never forget those things because i've made those links and i've made it more interesting for me to learn about you know even if you're learning about something that you don't enjoy as much as I said, if you find it relatable or you can relate it to something in your life, it will make it so much easier for you to absorb and for you to learn about. So moving on to the third reason then, basically this is all to do with the skills that you'll be learning about. Just a side note in the middle of this video, I am planning to film a video where I talk about what I learned during my degree at Cambridge. If you'd be interested in seeing that video, then definitely give us one a thumbs up or tell me down below. But yeah, back to this video anyway. In your exams, you'll mostly have short answer questions and depending on your specification, you might have to write essays for example i did aqa biology at a level i maybe should have said that at the start but basically i'm trying to say it's mostly a written based subject i obviously really enjoy writing but there is quite a big difference between writing answers for an arts or humanities based subject or just english you know versus a science subject but biology sits in the middle because you've got like english and your humanities and your art subjects on one side you've got biology in the middle and then you've got your non-written subjects so things like maths and chemistry and physics like they are mostly calculation based biology sits in the middle because you have mostly written answers but you do have some mathematical elements to it if you are scared of maths please don't be scared about maths and biology because it's not complex at all and you will be guided through how you are supposed to do like biology type calculations and i just think that biology is really nice in that respect because it does have a quantitative aspect in that you will be doing calculations and stuff but you will have the written element to it so you will be 
practicing how to write about science and write about biology and translate those ideas into sentences. I really think it taught me how to answer questions properly and be in tune with what the question was wanting me to say. So for example, you'll have questions that say, describe this graph. You'll have to simply say what you see. And that is so important as a scientist, you know, being able to observe something and simply describe what you're seeing is the first thing that any scientist should be able to do before you think about what that means you need to be able to describe it and so you'll have a lot of practice at doing that and then you'll be asked to like explain results maybe interpret things evaluate things see what is good and what is bad about a certain biological experiment for example and being able to dissect individual questions when it came to me writing whole essays for example i knew that i could you know start off by describing things and then start explaining things and interpreting things and being more critical in the way I evaluate things. You know, it really taught me to think like a scientist. The fourth thing is all to do with like future opportunities and future prospects having studied biology at school. So yeah, the first thing to say is obviously you can progress to then undertake a biology degree at university, which is what I did. And beyond that, there are so many career paths that you can take as a biologist and I don't think I really realised that there were so many when I was at school and when I was even at university. The first that comes to mind is yes obviously you can go into research and then the other very well recognised career path is to go obviously into teaching like become a teacher, a biology teacher but other career paths that you can take are for example like science communications, you can go into science writing and if you really like environmental science and ecology you can basically do anything in that field you could go into like marine biology for example which is something I thought I might go into when I was in Australia and doing loads of scuba diving you can go into like nutritional science you can go into like the pharmaceuticals industry if you like pharmacology and like drug development for example you can become like a biotechnician it doesn't have to be directly related to biology for example lots of people that I know who've studied biology go on to do like business or you know, like stuff to do with finance, just because you acquire so many skills that are transferable. Another big one is like graduate medicine. You might realize a bit later on in your life that you want to go into graduate medicine. And so you can apply as an undergraduate to study medicine if you realize that, you know, medicine is for you. I obviously applied for graduate medicine and I thought that I was maybe gonna become a doctor. I didn't go down that route because I realized it wasn't for me. But you know, there is that opportunity there. What I have personally done is I've done a master's after my undergraduate degree because I realized that I wanted to specialize further. And you know, as I said, because biology is so diverse and once you find the field that you enjoy the most, you can, you know, go into even more depth. And I just think that's so cool because biology is like, an ocean with no floor you know it is so so deep and you can just keep swimming down like you'll never know everything even though when i finished school and i finished a level biology i thought that you know i was so knowledgeable in biology i thought i knew everything and then obviously i went to university and was like whoa there is so much more to this subject you will always be surprised you'll always be kept on your toes you'll always be thinking now my final point is very short and sweet but it's basically that the subject is fun. Biology is fun. It is so cool. I know not everyone will enjoy it and everyone will have different tastes and opinions, but I truly, truly believe that if you study biology in the right way, like obviously it does depend a lot on how you're taught the subject, but if you do end up in a situation where you have good teachers and you're taught the subject in a really enthusiastic way, you will fall in love with it. As you guys know, I have Holygemia as a tutoring business and I've tutored biology for about two years now. My goal is always to make someone fall in love with the subject because often people come to me and they say, you know, I don't enjoy this about biology, I can't do this. My aim is to change those thoughts and to make someone love the subject and pretty much every time I have succeeded, which is the best thing because I just want it to be fun. Biology is just in my opinion, the best subject. And see, I really hope this video has convinced you that. Again, if you do have any particular questions, feel free to leave those down below. Definitely check out some of the other videos on my channel. So far, I've talked about things like epigenetics, the menstrual cycle, stem cells. If you are interested in any of those topics, then definitely check out some of those videos. And when my master's finishes, I will definitely be posting a lot more videos on this channel. And I might even start series where I talk about particular topics in A-level biology. So it's very tailored to those students 
students, you know? So if you're interested in that as well, then definitely subscribe and stick around and like this video so I know that you guys are excited for that content. And yeah, that is basically today's video. It's quite a short one, but I really hope it was useful and valuable. And as always, I will speak to you very soon in another one.